कृष्ण हरि कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरि कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय श्री कृष्ण श्री गौर भक्त वृंदा जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदी गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासदी गौर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगतपति गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदेश्वरी विश्वभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चेनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर तो श्रीमद्भागवत की जय श्री राधे गुरुकानंद भगवान की हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण जय हरे कृष्ण एवरीवन हरे कृष्ण गुरु हरे कृष्ण ज्योति हरे कृष्ण गजे हरे कृष्ण सोहम हरे कृष्ण तो हम लोग हरे कृष्ण अनिल जी हरे कृष्ण श्रीमद भागवतम तो कल हम लोग श्लोक 19 पढ़ रहे थे राइट जैसा कि हम लोग पढ़ रहे हैं कपिल मुनि मदर देहूति को ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज के बारे में बता रहे हैं राइट स्पिरिचुअल साइंस और इसको सांख्य विज्ञान बोलते हैं और पिछले श्लोक में जैसा कि हम लोग देख रहे थे 24 फोर एलिमेंट्स वर डिस्क्राइब राइट दिस मेटेरियल नेचर बिफोर प्रकृति इज जेनरेटेड उसके पहले 24 एलिमेंट्स बताए गए थे 24 फोर एलिमेंट्स फाइव फाइव स्थूल एलिमेंट या जो हम लोग सब जानते हैं पृथ्वी आकाश जल वायु एन अग्नि देन देर आर फाइव सूक्ष्म एलिमेंट्स राइट विच आर रिलेटेड टू द स्मेल द टच द साउंड एक्सेट्रा या एंड देन फाइव ज्ञानेन्द्रिया एंड फाइव कर्मेंद्रिया सो दैट्स ट्वेंटी एंड देन फोर इंटरनल फॉर इंटरनल सेक्शन विच यूर इंटरनल आर अहंकार बुद्धि मन एंड चित्त सो दैट्स ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इट से ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ एलिमेंट विच इज वॉट क्रिएट्स दिस टाइम एलिमेंट काल राइट दैट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव एलिमेंट्स टूगेदर फॉर्म्स द प्रधान सो इज समिंग कॉल प्रधान एंड वंस द प्रधान इज देयर देन वॉट दिस वॉज सेंग वॉज After the supreme personality of God had impregnated material nature, right? So those twenty-five elements with his internal potency, <clears throat> okay. And if you remember, supreme Lord has the internal potency, which is the spiritual potency. Yeah, is the external potency, which is this Maya, this whole universe, and also there is a marginal potency, right? Marginal potency where we have the Mahatattva, all the living entities. that's where marginal potency is it can go either internal or it can go material right that's where all the spiritual entities i mean internal entities decides which side they want to be and based on the karmas <clears throat> uh, they uh, they fall into the either side of the uh, universe so but what it is what is being mentioned is that so supreme person of god had impregnated material nature the internal potency material nature delivers the sum total of the cosmic intelligence so the whole cosmos if you see <clears throat> right the material nature delivers that and that cosmic intelligence is known as hiranamya okay just as a spiritual science that whole cosmos cosmic intelligence is known as hiranamya and this takes place in material nature when 
she or the pradhan is agitated by the destinations of the conditioned souls right so we got this cosmic intelligence the whole material nature but the real living entities are all these conditioned souls and based on their destinations <clears throat> right the whole material nature is generated prakriti generated is what is being mentioned here by kapil muni so we'll start with the next shlok which is shlok 20th uh, ravi <coughs> मैनिफेस्टिंग वेरीगेट नेफ्लुएंट महत्व which contains all the universes within itself which is the root of all cosmic manifestations and which is not destroyed at the time of annihilation swallows the darkness the darkness that covered the affluence at the time of dissolution hari krishna hari krishna ya yeah. to kapil muni kya bata rahe hain ki <clears throat> like there is always like pralaya right annihilation and then there is a creation right and this process is on and on and on right so when there is a annihilation what happens is the whole universe is dark yeah so when there is a creation yeah because the mahatattv mahatattv is around the marginal potency that is always there yeah and that is where all the universes are contained so what happens is that mahatattv swallows the darkness that covered the fulgence at the time of dissolution so you create the material nature and then whole darkness is swallowed by the mahatattv so actually nice uh, purport again uh, so hum since the supreme personality of god air is ever existing all blissful and full of knowledge his different energies are also the ever existing in uh, in the dormant stage thus when the mahatattva was created it manifest it manifested the material ego soul of the darkness which covered the cosmic manifestation at the time of dissolution that this idea can be further explained a person at right night remains inactive inactive covered with the darkness of night but when he awaken in the morning the cover of night a uh, the forgetfulness of the sleeping state disappears similarly when the mahatattva appears as a night of dissolution the effulgence is manifested to exhibit the very gaseness of material world hari krishna hari krishna thank you so much right so this is easily compared with when we go to sleep yeah in the night so all dark we have no idea what's going on we wake up in the morning and it's there is a bright nice bright sun yeah so that side has been come that's what happens during annihilation and and uh, creation yeah so that's and if you if you go back in previous cantos and if you remember you know we have seen like how many manus afford in manus right and and uh, 72 durations for each manu uh, the 72 cycles of kaliyug and treta yug dwapar yug and satyug right every time there is a new manu there is a creation and there is annihilation right so that's a whole spiritual science like if you go back and and look at that so that's how it's ever it uh, it's always there yeah so <clears throat> so in in this shlok mahat tattva is what is the described yeah ajay sure युण स्वच्छ शांत भगवत पदम यदा दुर्वास दिवाख्यम चितम तन्महातम द मोड ऑफ गुडनेस विच इज द क्लियर सोबर स्टेटस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ गॉड हेड 
and which is generally called Vasudeva or consciousness becomes manifest in Mahat Mahat Tattva. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So then after you have the material nature, uh, you have the Mahat Tattva. In the Mahat Tattva, the Sattva Guna, yeah, says the mode of goodness, which is the sober status of understanding the personality of Godhead. And that's called Vasudev, is the consciousness. The honor of the consciousness is Vasudev. So then Vasudev becomes manifest in the Mahat Tattva. Yeah, with all the living entities is what is being mentioned here. And again, let's uh, uh, read this song. The Vasudev of manifestation or a status of understanding the Supreme Personality of Godhead is called pure goodness or Sudha Sattva. In the Sudha Sattva status, there is no infringement of the other, other qualities, namely passion and ignorance. In the Vedic literature, there is mention of the Lord's expansion as the four personalities of Godhead, Vasudev, Sankarsana, Pradyuma and, and An Anivruta. Here in reference of the Mahatattva, the four expansions of God occur, Godhead occur. He who is seated within a super soul expands first as Vasudev. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So this is kind of an important part of the whole Sankhya Vigya. Yeah. But say so you got Mahatattva, you got this material nature, right? The time. And then the four personalities of Godhead, which are expansion of Lord Sri Krishna himself, right? And the four personalities of Godhead, which is mentioned in our Vedic literature, are Vasudev, Sankarsham, Pradyuman, and Aniruddha. Yeah? And you can read more about each of them, right? So what happens then is, the first thing which happens is, in the reappearance of the Mahatattva, when Mahatattva eats away all the darkness, right? The four expansions of Godhead occur. And the first one is the one who is seated within the super soul. Yeah, so we have Atma and then Paramatma, right? The soul and the super soul. The one who is seated within the super soul expands as Vasudev. Yeah, so that's the first expansion who is Vasudev. Yeah, let's read this uh, paragraph, which is really nice, uh, Jyoti. The Vasudeva stage is free from impregnment by material desires and is the status in which one can understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead or the objective which is described in the Bhagavad Gita as Adbuddha. This is another feature of Mahatratva. The Vasudeva expansion is also called Krishna consciousness, for it is free from all things of material passion and ignorance. This clear state of understanding helps one to know the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Vasudeva status is also explained in Bhagavad Gita as Kshetra Jnana, which refers to the knower of the field of activities as well as the super knower. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So the super soul, so it says that, you know, we talked about the stool sharir, the gross body, then we talked about the shuttle body, right? Man, buddhi, hankar. Then we talked about the soul and there is a super soul. So it's soul and the super soul. The super soul is the Vasudev expansion. Yeah. And that Vasudev expansion is also called Krishna consciousness because that is free from all the material passion and ignorance stages. Yeah. And in, in Bhagavad Gita, it's also called Kshetra, Kshetra Gyan, right? Which is knower of the field of activities as well as the super knower. Like, so everything we do is already known by the super soul. Yeah. Like we had read, I think, in the previous slopes that the scope of our soul is we, right? Like our stool sharir and our suksham sharir, that is a soul. But the super soul is existing everywhere. So the scope of the super soul is the whole universe. Yeah. So it's easy to understand that way. Um, Tarun? 
the living being who has occupied a particular particular type of body knows that body but the supernova vasudeva knows not only a particular type of body but also the field of activities in all the different varieties of bodies in order to be situated in clear consciousness or krishna consciousness one must worship vasudeva vasudeva is krishna alone and krishna or vishnu is alone without the accompaniment of his internal energy he is vasudeva when he is accompanied by his internal potency he is called dwarkadish to have clear consciousness or krishna consciousness one has to worship vasudeva it is also explained in bhagavad gita that after many many births one surrenders to vasudeva such a great soul is very rare hare krishna hare krishna yeah so now that we know how the whole material world is created and that the super soul who is none other than vasudeva right it's internally situated in clear consciousness or krishna consciousness one must worship vasudeva right who is lord sri krishna and that's how we start chanting right reading shrimad bhagavad gita uh, shrimad bhagavatam bhagavad gita so all that is in krishna consciousness and that helps clear our consciousness and then takes us towards krishna consciousness is what is being mentioned here yeah <clears throat> and so that's about vasudev and the second we saw was sankarshan so it says that in order to get release from false ego right ahankar one has to worship sankarshan sankarshan is also worshiped through lord shiva yeah the snakes which cover the body of lord shiva are representations of sankarshan and lord shiva is always absorbed in meditation upon sankarshan yeah and it says one who is actually a worshiper of lord shiva as a devotee of sankarshan can be released from false material ego and if one wants to get free from mental disturbances one has to worship aniruddha yeah so we saw vasudev super soul then we have sankarshan to get rid of ahankar false ego and then from mental disturbances right you worship aniruddha okay and for this purpose worship of the moon planet is also recommended in the vedic literature yeah because the moon is related to man mind yeah which gets to mental disturbances similarly to be fixed in one's intelligence one has to worship pradyuman who is reached through the worship of brahma these matters are explained in vedic literature yeah so if you just want to summarize once all the mahatatva is there the darkness is taken away right the expansion happens of lord shri krishna through the super soul yeah and there are four expansions of lord shri krishna and what are those four expansions one is vasudev sankarshan pradyuman aniruddha and aniruddha yeah and as we can see vasudev is vasudev lord shri krishna and sankarshan is also expansion of lord shri krishna only but the sankarshan is worshiped through lord shiva pradyum uh, and aniruddha you can worship to get rid of the mental disturbances and then you have pradyuman for intelligence buddhi yeah who is worship through lord brahma okay so just to understand the sankhya vigyan i think we'll also read a little bit more about this and we'll again revise so that we better understand it yeah uh anil ji स्वच्छत्वीकरण प्रोक्त यहाँ प्रकृति before coming in contact with earth is clear sweet and unruffled so the characteristic traits of pure consciousness are complete serenity clarity and freedom from distraction hare krishna hare krishna yeah so first when the consciousness appears it's not contaminated right it's pretty clear there is no distraction there uh so so huh? 
the pure status of consciousness or Krishna consciousness exists in the beginning, just as a creation. Consciousness is not polluted. The more one becomes materially contaminated, however, the more consciousness becomes obscured. In pure consciousness, one can perceive a slight reflection of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, as in clear, unaggregated water, free from impurities, one can see everything clearly. So in pure consciousness or Krishna consciousness, one can see things as they are. One can see a reflection of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and one can see his own existence as well. This state of consciousness is very pleasing, transparent, and sober. In the beginning, consciousness is pure. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so pretty clear, yeah? Sumit? Mahatva Tva Dikurnam Dikurna Bhagavad Bhag, Bhagavad Dirya Sambhava Triya Shakti Rahankar Stri Vidha Samadhata Vekar Jikste Jakshascha Tamascha Yato Bhava Mane Sanchindra Yanam Cha Bhutana Mahatamapi The material ego springs up from the Mahatattva, which evolved from the Lord's own energy. The material ego is endowed predominantly with active power of three kinds, good, passionate, and ignorant. It is from these three types of material ego that the mind, the senses of perception, the organs of action, and the gross elements evolve. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So... The ahankar, which springs up from Mahatattva, and we saw the ahankar is uh, the honor of ahankar is sankarshan, right? We saw that. And then once the ahankar is there, you know, it gets endowed by with the active power of the material nature, satogun, rajogun, and tamogun, right? And then with those, th those three types of material ego, what happens? Then all the senses, which you saw those 24 elements, they evolve. Yeah, the karmendriya and gyanendriya and all that is uh, what is being mentioned here. Yeah. <clears throat> so, can I uh, just. Uh... <coughs> Ravi? False ego is the basic principle for all the material activities which are executed in the modes of material nature. As soon as one derivates from pure Krishna consciousness, he increases his entanglement in the material reaction. The entanglement of the materialism is the material mind and from this material mind, the sense and the material organs become manifest. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So the way it's being explained is false ego and then all the modes of material nature. Right. But then what happens is that's where our consciousness gets distracted. <clears throat> and just our consciousness, either we can focus on this, all these three gunas, material world, and then get into this whole cycle of birth, death, disease, and old age. Or we can start focusing our consciousness to pure Krishna consciousness. So we can go back to Godhead. Yeah. Tarun? Sahasra Sigasam Saksad Satsad Yam Anantam Prakshate Sankarsana Kshyam Purusham Bhutendriya Manomayam Manomayam The threefold Ahankara, the source of the gross elements, 
the senses and the mind is identical with them because it is their cause. It is known by the name of Sankarsana, who is directly Lord Ananta with a thousand heads. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So, just like we have learned before, the threefold Ahankar, and you know, it, Ahankar takes over, and then all these senses evolve, and Sankarsan, yeah, is the in charge of that, who is also known as Lord Anand, and Lord Anand, okay, with a thousand heads. Like I don't know if you see any picture of uh, Anand, Lord Anand, you know, you will see that uh, um, with thousand heads and Seshnag and all that. Um, and Jyoti? Okay. Kartutvam karanatvam cha kariyatvam chedi lakshanam shanta gura vimudatvam iti va syadarha this false ego is characterized as the doer, as an instrument, and as an effect. It is further characterized as serene, active, or dull, according to how it is influenced by the modes of goodness, passion, and ignorance. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So that all you know, like how it gets characterized depending on whether it's Satogun, Rajogun, or Tamogun. Yeah. <clears throat> and... Uh, So, huh? One great Acharya, Narottam Dasa Thakur, has lamented that one, one that, that when one deviates from pure consciousness of Vasudev or Krishna consciousness, consciousness, he becomes entangled in material activities. The exact words he uses are. Satsang Chadi, Kenu Asa Vilasa, Te Karam Karane Lagila, Ye Karma Banda Fansa. I have given up the pure status of consciousness because I wanted to enjoy the temporary material manifestation. Therefore, I have been entangled in a network of actions and reactions. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Yeah. So it says very clearly, I have given up the pure status because I wanted to enjoy in the temporary material manifestation. So it's the I, right? Between the Mahatma to the soul, we decide. Temporarily you want to enjoy the material world. So what happens? Then you get entangled in the network of actions and reactions. That's what has happened to all of our, uh, uh, our eternal entities, right? And that's how we, we have become conditioned so the way is to go back to Godhead by Krishna consciousness is what is being described here. Uh, yeah, Ravi. Uh, you mute, Ravi. Rika, Rika, Vikurvana. From the false ego of the goodness, another transformation takes place. From this, evol this evolves the mind to thought and to give rise to desire. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right? So, first the ego, Ahankar, comes in place, right? And then the mind, man. Man whose thoughts are reflections and gives rise to a lot of desire. So that's mind, right? Not the intelligence, but the mind itself. Yeah? I think we are going to pause here. And uh, you know, we'll start tomorrow from the Shlok uh, 28. Yeah? And as, as we know, right, Ahankar was Lord Sankarshan. The mind, the man, is by the Lord Aniruddha. So we are going to read about it tomorrow. Okay. And yeah.
Actually, if you come on video, this is the time when we get this picture out. So if possible, you can be on video, you know, when we switch to the Kirtan. Uh, because of the Nityananda Jayanti, Nityananda Prabhu Jayanti, we are going to see the celebration in Mayapur. Yeah. And then we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow at 9.20 p.m. So Hare Krishna. Again. Krishna Krishna Hare Hare 